I'll tell a story of uh, the first time I played with Bruce Springsteen. I'm a huge Bruce Springsteen fan. Like, like, I subscribe to magazines. Like, I'm a real, like, I have all, of, I have like about 700 compositions that don't appear on records, you know, by Bruce Springsteen. And uh, we had been acquaintances for some time, ever since Rage Against the Machine covered the song Ghost of Tom Chode back in 1997. So I ran into him in a studio in 2008, and he said, uh, he said, sometime you should come up and play with the E Street Band. And I said, well, that would be a fine time, wouldn't it? So about two weeks later, he was playing at the Anaheim Ponds, you know, not about an hour from my house. And so I somewhat boldly called up Bruce Springsteen and said, how about when you play in Anaheim? How's that sound? Remember what you said in the studio the night? So we had a brief discussion about what song to play. I think, I'm not sure who suggested Ghost of Tom Chow. It might have been me. And the two existent versions of it are his acoustic version and the Rage Against the Machine Black Sabbathy riff rock version. And he said, bring an acoustic guitar, bring an electric guitar, just be ready. So I, of course, stay up night after night practicing every possible incarnation of the song. And I go down to the gig, and it's just me and my guitar tech. My wife is out of town. So I'm downstairs in catering, listening to the E Street Band practicing Bruce's new arrangement not never existed before arrangement and I'm dismayed to find that he has raised the key of the song by about eight steps and as you can tell from this interview perhaps the rich milk chocolate baritone voice that I have might not be able to hit the high notes on American Idol so I'm in a panic down there trying to reconfigure like how do I play the I, I only know it the way it is on the record so so I finally go up there and I'm very nervous and I'm you know it's like my one chance to play with the East Street Band I'm gonna suck so I'm like terrified very patiently, Steve Van Zandt and Bruce are kind of coach me through this new version of the song, and clearly, it's not going well. But the good news is, they don't call him the boss for nothing. So he puts a bossly hand on my shoulder, looks me square in the eye and says, we're gonna do it in this key, and it's gonna be fine. And it's like I went, oh yeah, it's totally gonna be fine. And so, that and a half bottle of Jameson later, and I went out there and I ripped shit. <laughs> And it worked out well at the end of the day. <laughs> and there's YouTube proof of it. So. <laughs>